In this video, we'll learn how to calculate the mean of a discrete set of values. Now let's go ahead with an example. Let's say we're given the numbers 3, 5, 10, 8, and 14, and that we're asked to calculate the mean. Well, the way we're going to do this is in three steps. The first thing we're going to do is make a note of how many numbers we have. So to do that, I'll just underline each of these while I count. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 values. So we define this capital N here. Capital N is equal to 5, and that's the number of values we have. So that's the number of values we have. Okay, that's the first thing done. The next thing we have to do is calculate the sum of all the values we have. So I'm just going to write this here. I'll say sum is equal to, well, to calculate this, we just have to add all of these values together. So the sum would be equal to 3 plus 5 plus 10 plus 8 plus 14. And so calculating this, going from left to right, we would have 3 plus 5, which is 8 plus 10, which is 18, plus 8, which would be 26, plus 14, which would lead us to 40. And the third and final step here is to calculate the mean. And the mean we write as a little x with a small bar on top. And the mean is equal to the sum that we just calculated divided by the total number of values, so capital N. Now, looking at the values we had, we had found that n was equal to 5, and the sum is equal to 40. So, in our formula here, we can replace sum and n by these two values, and we can write that the mean is equal to 40 divided by 5. And since 40 divided by 5 is 8, we have our answer. The mean is equal to 8. And there we go. We've just calculated, calculated the mean of this set of data. Let's work through another example. Let's say we're given the numbers 13, 0, 3, 5, 7, 2, 10, 11, 3, and 17. And again, we're asked to calculate the mean of this set of data. Well, again, the first thing we're going to do here is figure out how many values we have. And let's see, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 values. So just as we did in the first example, we start by writing that capital N is equal to 10. And remember, the next thing we do is we're going to have to calculate the sum of all these values. So we'll write sum is equal to, and it's the sum of all these numbers. So in this case, that would be 13 plus 0 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 2 plus 10 plus 11 plus 3, plus 17. Now, if needs be, you can go ahead with your calculator and check this. But we find that the sum is equal to 71. And now, the third and final step, once again, is to calculate the mean. And we write x with the little bar on top to say that this is the mean. And the mean is equal to the sum divided by the number of values n. And since n was 10 and the sum was 71, I'll just highlight these here. We had the sum was 71 and the number of values was 10. We can replace this in our formula here. We can replace both of those values. And we can now write that the mean is equal to 71 divided by 10. And dividing 71 by 10, 
will lead us to the answer, which is the mean is equal to 7.1. And there you go. That's how you calculate the mean of a set of data.